Welcome once again right now in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 17 through to 24, walking in the light. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles also walk, in the futility of their mind, being darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the hardening of their hearts. By far, most people, it says in the scriptures, will not get to heaven, will not escape the wrath and the judgment of God. That's because they love sin. They love themselves. They love sensuality. And because of that, they have hardened their hearts. They have hardened their hearts against what God really has to say. They have hardened their hearts against the truth. In the futility of their pride, they have hardened their hearts. They, having become callous, gave themselves up to lust to work all uncleanness with greediness. Those who have given themselves over to lust and immorality and sensuality, they are very selfish, very greedy. You don't see these kind of people reaching out in love to anybody else. The only time they talk about love is when they want to receive it themselves. But you didn't learn Christ that way. If indeed you heard him and were taught in him, even as truth is in Jesus, that you put away as concerning your former way of life. Notice it says former way of life. It's very important. If you are truly born again, you have a former way of life. You are no longer anything like the way you used to be. The old is gone. The old man, so to speak, is dead. The new has come. You have become a new creation in Christ, new in righteousness and holiness, in hunger and thirst after God, not selfish, wanting to know the truth, and wanting to know more about God at all costs. That you may put away as concerning your former way of life, the old man that grows corrupt after the lusts of deceit, and that you be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and put on the new man, that's the new born again man, who in the likeness of God has been created in righteousness and holiness of truth, so many people today hate truth. And my prayer for you is that God would get a hold of you, that you would desire the truth, that you would desire the ways of God far above your own ways, that you would lay down all selfishness, all lust, and all greediness, and that you would pick up the cross, so to speak, and follow after him, follow after God at all costs. That takes humility. That takes giving up your selfishness, giving up your lusts. Seek God with all your heart, and if you seek him with all your heart, then you'll find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.